Ah, we have hit the record button. Have we? And before I hit the intro, I want to let you know that uh, we've been away because of technical difficulties. Our advancement in technology called the Roadcaster um, has met some issues. On the road again? Like, if it was a bitch, I would have dumped it. Let's just kick the show. Just can't wait to get on the Roadcaster again. Uh, what are we kicking? Wow. Let me tell you what we're kicking. We're kicking it with you. Because this <laughs> is the Hype Podcast. I'm the host with no name. Is it really? Is it really the Hype Podcast? It is, because I'm hype as fuck. Hold on, hold on. We need a... Now it's really the Hype fucking podcast. Oh, did I, did I say Hype as fuck? I meant high as fuck. My, uh, bad. Oh, <laughs> My bad. Oh, shit. What are we getting high on today? Uh, love and sunshine and barbecue sunflower seeds, apparently. Uh, I do have a thing for barbecue sunflower seeds. You know... The best ranch. Oh, God. Ranch I'm, sunflower I'm cra- seeds. I'm I a cracked pepper fan. <laughs> cracked pepper, cracker, <laughs> whatever the fuck you want to be. Have you had the Taco Bell flavor? I have not had the Taco there Bell flavor. There is a fucking Taco Bell flavor. There, there is. But a- we're not going to spend all fucking show talking about that. You know what else we're going to talk about? We're going to talk about Trump and the G Summit performance that he just put on. We're going to talk about Jay-Z partnering, partnering with an NFL team. And uh, we're going to talk about people breaking the law, breaking the law, because there is no laws when you're drinking claws, baby. Portland police have an epidemic of white claws and basic bitches running around, and it's got to stop. It has got to stop. And you know what? How do you really feel about that? You know what? How I feel about it is irrelevant, because if Antifa can be out here protesting, I got five things that the Hype Podcast is going to protest about, and we're going to do it properly. Yeah, because yeah, we got some real shit. We got like real issues. And real, and real solutions. We got problems and solutions, and they well, involve well, masks I, and sunglasses. Oh, well, fuck, I never claimed to have any of the solutions. I didn't say they were right solutions. I just said they were solutions. Just saying. <laughs> you don't know, now you know. Because Jesus is the answer. Yes. And if you have not watched Mr. Dave Chappelle's new fucking Netflix special, it's all right. It's all right. See, I, 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 have, I have to have you fill me in on this because I did not watch the new special. Yeah, You know, it just uh, either, either we're used to good old Dave being back or he didn't go as hard on this one. I don't think he went as hard. Honestly, because them checks is already signed and cashed. No, I get it. I get it. I mean, when he first came back with like bird revelations and shit like that, he fired off like five or six specials and in like that couple years. I'm sitting there like, man, if I went to work and they just gave me the check up front, you know, they paid me enough money to take care of me for the rest of my life. By the fourth or fifth time I had to go to work, I'd be a little lackadaisy. That is true. But it's called lackadaisical. And if you're feeling lackadaisical, hit us up, 503-776-0167, or send us a message on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash the hype podcast. Have you been checking those messages? And uh, you might get a little visit from Diesel Fresh. You know. Just because. We, you, he you, no, you. no, you don't have to call. It's okay, girl. I'm going to be all right tonight. <laughs> I will be the fuck all right. Because I'm here to party, yeah. Is that the same song? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's the, You don't have to call by Usher. He talks about going out and partying, motherfucker. Because uh, that's who he, he was with, Chili, yeah. with TLC. <laughs> yeah, right? God, she was hot. How did that work? Did she like run to his arms after Left Eye died? I don't know. I, I mean, know. I mean, she says she didn't want no scrubs. And I, I mean, I don't consider Usher a scrub. <laughs> what I'm really wondering is who was taller in that relationship? Because that was a big bitch. Usher, he's not short. Usher? Yeah. I was like five eight five nine. I swear to God, I'm five eight five nine. Shit, that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> that's what a grown ass man looks like. What do you mean? No, <laughs> that's no, what a grown ass fucking grown that's ass like, man. That's like, oh, were you saying I'm a mini man? No, I'm saying a grown ass man looks like fucking Jay Z, who's like six one or six two. I'm just saying, grown, not fucking halfway grown, not three quarters. If you if you're if you're, oh wow, he he really is. If you're the height that you need to establish, you're five, seven, and three quarters. You're fucking short. Okay. Hold on. So I'm looking at this. It comes up with Usher's height. Okay. Which is officially five, seven. Okay. So, hey, if I see you, you getting dunked on, fool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
I, I, I am swatting your shot. I really, because Trey Songz also fresh can't dunk. Trey Songz is six two. Trey Songz doesn't look like there, he's six. There you go. He doesn't look six two to me. Right. Yeah, I agree. Chris Brown is six one. I met Chris Brown. Yeah, he's really six one. He's a full, but he weighs like a buck forty too. Yeah, he's a full lanky six one. Now here's somebody you didn't know, want to know how tall they are, but you're gonna find out now. R. Kelly is six one. I I knew that. I knew R. Kelly was a big bitch. I'm just saying, R. Kelly and Chris Brown are the same height, right? Yeah, yeah no, I'm with you on that one. You know, the, you know the, what else really gets me is your DMX story. Well, when, when you told me that, you were like, "Man, I always thought this motherfucker was like six one, six two, and he's the size of Cat Williams." <laughs> <laughs> so, so so I'll take you back in the Wayback Machine real quick before we get to the five minutes of fresh. Yeah. Five minutes of fresh. It's five minutes of funk, bitch. Five minutes of fresh. Yeah. Before we get to the five minutes of funk. So I'm in I'm in Cali at this uh this festival. And if you listen to the show, you've probably heard the story before, but it's an amazing story. I'm I'm at the, I'm at this festival and we're watching it's like all the old school artists. I saw Ice Cube, Salt and Pepper, I think I saw Kendrick Lamar the first time, saw Bone Thugs, walked out because that shit was boring. Kid Cuddy, same thing, walked out. If you like logic, walked out on his ass. Cause it's a festival. There's other shit going right, yeah. on. I will go get a refreshment or watch another artist on another stage because your shit is boring the fuck out of me. But anyway. Let me pause you for just a second. Isn't it a amazing how they set up that sound where you can take five steps in one direction and you're in a whole nother fucking concert and you can't hear the other concert going on no no you i mean in between acts you can kind of barely hear it but but you really can't so i'm there and we go and dmx is one of the performers it was rock the bells i actually seen a kid with a t-shirt on the other day it was rock the bells dmx one of the performers we watched dmx fucking rock it out this motherfucker had like the gallon bottle of Hennessy. <laughs> like that bottle of Hennessy that's big enough where you think he should be using two hands to hold it, but he got he's holding it down with one, probably because he's had a lot of practice with it. So I'm out there, and I'm chilling, and, 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 and I watch the show. He tears it up. I mean, you know, he only sung half the words. Whatever, the fuck. It's yeah. a rap show. Yeah. That's how they rip you off. Yeah. Anyway, comes to find out, I wake up the next morning. He's staying at the same hotel as me. <laughs> and I catch him taking pictures with what, these bras. Now, what what hotel was it? Holiday Inn Express, Motel it, Six. It, it must have been the Holiday Inn Express because I felt much better. Shut the anyway, <laughs> anyway, I'm sitting there in the lobby, and I'm like, "Yo, I'm with my homeboy Six, James, whatever the fuck you want to call him. With sure. I'm with Six. Oh, we're in rapper mode. I'm with Six. I'm DJ Safeway. He's Six. Yeah, Triple Six to be correct. That's so why we're sitting there. And I go, oh shit, it's DMX. I want to go say what's up. I go say what's up to him. He had that gallon bottle of Hennessy. And let me tell you, that w- he had a, n- it, it was another gallon bottle. <laughs> it was the same gallon. He just wasn't drinking it. No, no, no. I am telling you, my friend, the height of the bottle that he had that night was very low. And the height of the bottle he had this time was two thirds full. Oh, so shit. he had, he had been using this <laughs> bottle very well. I mean, he's a rough rider, you know, stop, drop. Drink another pop. I don't know. <laughs> That's a rough rider's role. And I didn't notice until I got next to him mm-hmm. that the motherfucker is like five five, maybe. You did now. Why did why didn't you notice? Because it was just a like a very large presence of DMX, and like as you walk up to him, you're like, man, this motherfucker is shrinking before my eyes. Oh, see, the internet is lying. It says he's five eleven, and that motherfucker was not taller than me. See, I don't know. I've ne- I've never seen the. I got I got to dig up the pictures. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe I was still drunk. Yeah. But no, no, no. <laughs> I mean, if we are disrespecting your name, DMX, I, you know, I mean, he got prison buddies. But anyway, regardless of the height of DMX, there's one thing I got to point out about this. Oh, so you still can't dunk. So let's get into the five minutes of funk. Five. 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 First up in the radical world of, of sports, I don't know why this is going to be a sport, but it's about to be a fucking sport. Andrew, a- Andrew, Android users can now pre-register for Mario Kart on their phone. A- and your Android and iPhone. I mean, don't get it fucked up, buddy. Dude, I mean, this is going to be it's an the, international fucking sport. You know, like Pokemon Go. This is going to be bigger than Pokemon Go because if there's one game that it's I love, cause just as many accidents that, too. I, that I fucking love on Nintendo. It is Mario Kart. If you do not like Mario Kart, there's something wrong with you. Fuck your life. Old I mean, school, real, real, I mean, really, I mean, real, real shit. Fuck your life. Go look in the mirror, and 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 remember that I told you, fuck your life, dude. I can't. I I want to see how they're gonna do this shit. 
Because, I, I mean, is it live action? Does it go with your GPS? Do you have I, to fucking drive around? I don't know. I, I'm not going to get shit done at work. Because there is <laughs> one game I fuck with and I fuck with real hard. I'll tell you, man. And when I play online, I become a savage at Mario Kart. Like, I can't even play... I can't. Even, I can't even play with the kids. Like I'll be. I'll be, I'll be I remember when Mario Kart was out on Wii. You know, you want to. I get online, get real aggressive. Then, the, then my nieces will come down and want to play, and I just be fucking murdering them bras. Okay, I was gonna say you. <laughs> I'm glad you threw in nieces because I was like, oh, so you don't have any kids. I, Next up in politics, <laughs> <laughs> Trump skips the most important meeting of the year, the G7 summit. Where they talk about all sorts of wonderful things. It's like the UN conference where he's supposed to talk about climate change and all the new fucking, the green new deals and shit like that. And you know what he was doing? What? Playing some golf. You know, uh, but you see his wife checking out, uh, was that Trudeau? Yeah. <laughs> that picture, that picture yeah. is going to be a meme forever because well, she dude. was giving him the eyes, man. Dude. I mean, if a broad that bad looked at me like that, I would know that, yeah, wh- let your husband go play golf. I'm going to skip a meeting too. Dude, let me, l- let me go you, give you one better. Not only did he skip the meeting, he pressed the resort that he owns, one of his properties. We should just have the G Summit meeting there next year. Come on. Don't worry about it. Just come to my fucking resort. It's the most magnificent resort yeah, I, ever. You know what? Fuck what they say about him. I love his swag. I, I just, I just, I mean, it, it, it really feels good to have somebody that just gives no fucking fucks and, and is not going to apologize about it. Not kissing anybody's ass. <laughs> I'm not going to vote for the guy. Don't get me wrong. Don't throw me in that bus because if I say that, then somebody, then somebody would come burn down my fucking house. But anyway, just give no fucking fucks. I just said what I said, and that's what the fuck I said. You got a problem? Shit, CNN, you needed some ratings anyway. Let me say something stupid right now. And to cap it off, he says, oh, all the proceeds... For coming to my magnificent resort will be dedicated to the Amazon fires. <laughs> Next up in entertainment, the originals. The originals. If you don't know what the originals are, go fuck yourself. It's Prince's latest album. Rest in peace. So it's, I'm a couple weeks behind on this, but Prince released a new album. June 7th. Of old music. Old music. So all the songs that Prince wrote for other people, he put them together on an album. I don't know if you... Did you listen to When Nothing Compares to You came out last year? No. No, I did not. Oh, man. I mean, I, I, I don't see how you've had any pussy since last year, because, boy, that is... <laughs> I haven't. That, that Thanks is, for bringing it up. That is the better down fucking jam. Like, you know, when that ball-headed hoe sung it? Yeah. It was all right. <laughs> You know, shout out to Sinead Connor. You know she's one of the few people banned from Saturday Night Live. Is she really? Yeah, because she tried to make some kind of political statement. We're going to talk about <laughs> political statements later, but yeah. She tried to cap her nick on that shit, and they, and they said nah. <laughs> she, but she, did, she didn't take some knees, that's why. She didn't take some fucking knees. And if I she, mean, I, I don't know if I want that bitch to take a knee. <laughs> <laughs> she may not be able to get back up. Man, you fuck around. Get your ta- salad tossed and get rug burned from her head. <laughs> Next up is <laughs> local news. <laughs> Proud Boys and Antifa are at it again. And you know what? Let me tell you. You motherfuckers are quite anticlimactic. I'm not inciting a riot or insisting on violence, but dude, slaying some cupcakes at each other or something, you big fucking fairies. Hey, but it got some national coverage. I mean, this is a preview of what's going on in our uh, hot topic. Dude, not even. Not even a fucking preview. These big wussies, dude. I know people that were downtown that Saturday when it happened. And you know what the fuck went down? Two hours of fucking belligerent nonsense. People shouting at each other and the cops going, get the fuck out of here. You know what happened? It shut down downtown so bad that we had no business that day because I worked downtown. And the other thing that happened and that what that could have caused a fucking riot, salt and straw was shut down. What the fuck? You know, white folks, they, 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 you know, they'd be lined up around the block to get that shit. Dude, there's another place. I mean, Better it's like, salt and straw. Salt, it's called Handles. Go to I, Handles instead. I don't I don't care. Salt and straw is like the crack house at the first of the month. <laughs> Seriously. It, have you like the one on Division? Yeah. I went there once, man. I stood in line for like 15 minutes. And I'm like, I ain't want any fucking ice cream this bad. Dude, salt and straw is the voodoo donuts of Portland. It really is ice cream. It it, it really is good shit. Don't get me wrong. It was good shit. And you know, I mean, but you know, I mean, but you, there's limits on how much I can like it because 
lactose. Dude, I love how we, so, I love how it was the local topic about Antifa and Proud Boys, and we're fucking preaching about ice cream. Last, but I'm <laughs> telling you, lactose. <laughs> that's what happens. <laughs> Uncontrollable. <laughs> Watch <laughs> out now. <laughs> oh, you think the cows kill the environment? Okay, no, it's okay, me, motherfucker. Okay. Oh. And number five. Last but not least. Now that's news, and you're not gonna believe this. We police Portland police say we have been. This is Portland, Maine. We have been made aware of a popular saying, ain't no laws when you're drinking claws. To clear the air, here in Portland, laws still apply, even if you're drinking claws or drinking anything else, just in case you wanted to know. So keep your bros out of trouble. That's a quote from the police department. Keep your bros out of trouble. So the claws thing is taking over. Yeah. Like, like motherfuckers, claw. motherfuckers graduated from LaCroix, LaCroix, <laughs> LaCroix to, to claws. And it tastes like the same shit. Dude, that shit dude, goes. We graduated to basic bros. We were just bros. Now we're basic bros. But it's all right. I mean, you know, back in my day, we had Zima. <laughs> I fucking love Zima. <laughs> you know, Zima hey, was the shit. Dude, you were officially white trash. Dude, no, I used to it, fucking love it. I and dude, didn't it, drink it, it when it first came out. It, 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 when it first came out, you couldn't drink. Exactly. That's, no, that's I mean, my point. Anybody who loves Zima after 99, you are trash. <laughs> <laughs> 99 is actually when I started drinking, I think. Oh, wow. In the, in the closet? No. no. Okay. I I'd never drank in a closet. That'd be awkward. Did you? Would you talk your babysitter into giving you a little little taste of the liquor, dude? I had a hot babysitter one time when I was like four years old, and I ended up like smacking my head up against a fireplace hearth. Never saw her again. Yeah. So that is the <laughs> <laughs> that is this week's five minutes of fuck. One, two, three, four, five. 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 <laughs> so uh, Oso uh, was got up and left the fucking table. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you you were four, yeah. Eight, in in this day and age, you can't talk about sex in four or whatever. Even though I, I know, what I, are you talking about? I said I hit my head up against a fireplace hearth and never you didn't, saw her you, again. You didn't what know she was sexual high. innuendo. Could you have possibly fucking fathomed from that? Hey, well, I'm thinking baby series. I'm thinking of ones I was trying to push up on. I was like, <laughs> yeah. My voice may be high right now, but when it gets deeper, I'm gonna bring that. He said, "When these balls drop, baby. when when these balls drop, when they get a little hair on them, baby." I'm going to show you what Diesel Fresh can do. Oh, my God. Diesel Fresh. I'm glad you turn everything into fucking pervy shit. It, it is. It that is. way I don't have to. So, what's up with you? How you living? Oh, uh, you know, like a fucking shit-tastic shit basket. I had a couple of, couple of fiascos the other day. Ended up having to block some people's numbers. Uh, broke my van, hopefully. I'm, I'm praying I didn't break my van, but I think I broke my van. Well, which, which story would you like to hear first? Um, you know, the, the quick ones, we still have the hot topic to get that to. That is true. So I did a lot of weekend maintenance on the van and, uh, it, it all, it all ties together. I'll give you the 30 second version. I did a lot of weekend did, maintenance. I mean, why, and, uh, why'd you, do, why'd you do the maintenance? There's no required maintenance. There's no shade trees in your episode in your, in your neighborhood. No, no, there's no little fucking chop shop wanderers that are fucking, Hey, I'll hook you up for a case of Pepsi. Cause there's like some, other, there's motherfuckers like that across the street. They made me kind of worry. What? Shaq? Yeah. Is he still living across the street? No, 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 oh, no, okay, no. Okay. We're, we're we're friends. No, oh. there's there's, <laughs> there's there's some cats across the street. They be fixing cars all the time. I'm like, well, shit. Glad I don't have a Honda. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You come fix that shit right up. Yeah, Take some parts off that. Yeah, put yeah. it on your car. Uh, yeah, when you're trying to get to work on three wheels, you tell me about that. <laughs> and, and another little little fucking qualm I have is this whole fucking nonsense that's been flooding my goddamn ESPN feed. I can't, I just can't deal with it, Oso. Why are people whining that Jay-Z wants to fucking own part of a football team? Well, you know, Jay-Z, he was, he actually had a press conference with, uh, what's it, um, the NFL commissioner. Yeah. What's okay. his name? I have no idea. I, I can't remember. You know, I know, you know his fucking I name? I know it off the top of my, I, I, I don't know if off the top of my head. Adam Silver's the NBA commissioner. I do know that. And I don't. I know knew that. I know that because I think he would touch my booty. <laughs> <laughs> Roger Goodell is that who it is? Roger Goodell. That's there. Right. We go. Roger Goodell. Man. All right. Give, give me that. Give that. Oof. No wrong ones. Give, give that man some fucking applause. Give that man well, some fucking some applause. Reason, it, I thought he was the fucking uh, the Dallas Cowboys owner for a second, and I was like, no, I think he's the commissioner. 
So at the at the press conference, Jay Z made this statement. Everybody know I agree with what you're saying. So in regards what are we to Kaepernick, gonna do? you know what I'm saying. So we should millions and millions of people, and or we get stuck on Colin not having a job. So I want to say first off, Jay Z. I tried to get the best quote I could of you, but you don't make no goddamn sense. You should really stick to rapping. <laughs> Public speaking is not your thing. I just had to say, brother man, because it took you a long time, and there was a lot of, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I know what you're saying. You're using the English language. I know what you're saying. Why don't you say that more in your fucking songs? Because you do you do such slick shit in songs. But anyway, he's replying to Colin Kaepernick by saying, hey, man, you, you can't hold up millions and millions of people because, you know, you got beef over here. Dude... I don't even think that's what he's saying. What's he saying? I think he's very, very politically correctly telling people to mind their fucking business. I, I think that's what he's saying. See, let, that, let me tell wait, you why. That's because that's how Jay Z raps. Let me. <laughs> no, you listen let me, to a Jay Z album. Jay Z, you gotta listen to it like three times. He'll say some real slick shit under his breath in between words, like "Yeah, fuck your mom with a hot dog." He'll say some shit like that, real slick. Dude, here's here's where I'm going. With he's this. a wordsmith, definitely. Here's where I'm going with this because. In the history of sports, period, right? It has been primarily African American dominated. Yes, true. Okay, so like we talked about it before the show. Back in the fifties, when it was you know all white baseball, they realized real quick, wow, black people are just better at this shit, right? So you guys have been being abused. Us guys, se- you guys, you black folks have oh. been being abused for centuries, right? I'm but gr- now, but I'm, now you're getting fucking millions of dollars to be told what to do. See, see, be abused a little bit in a fucking game. You play a game for a living. You're not going to sit here and tell me that Jay-Z has to fucking rest on his laurels and die on that fucking soapbox because Colin Kaepernick oh, made, uh, makes millions of dollars to do nothing. Colin Kaepernick, who will not speak in public. Right. Is not spoken. I don't think he's spoken in public in years. Who looks Hispanic? Years. It, 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 that doesn't fucking matter. You it can't, matters you, you, to me. It matters to you. He had a reply. JC said in the press conference is that we've moved past kneeling. Mm-hmm. It's time for action. Well, Colin used that t- wording in a tweet yesterday saying, my brothers Eric Reed, Kenny Stills, Albert Wilson II, continue to fight for the fee- people even in the face of death threats. They have never moved past the people and continue to put their beliefs into action. Stay strong, brothers. And? And then make What's no wrong with that? and Colin ain't make no goddamn sense. That's why you don't speak. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I mean that's why you had to fucking kneel. Because I mean, shit, that tweet was written like there was a dick in your mouth. That made no fucking sense. Let me just tell you like this, dude. The only thing they're protesting now is another man's money. What if? What if? Take no, this no, journey. Oh, with hold me. on, hold on. Before you go into it, you do have to give you a little background. Jay Z did stop people from performing at the Super Bowl in support of Colin Kaepernick. Yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah, and Hillary That's, Hillary Clinton stopped supporting fucking climate change when they cut the check to her. I mean, come on. People I, change their fucking position like the wind anyway. It's not politics. He's not hurting anybody. No, he's, he, just, he's just he making saw, money. He saw an opportunity to make some money by investing some money. That's all it is. All these fuckers are worried about is another man's fucking pocket. That's all they're worried about. Uh, Because let me tell you. No, let me tell you like this. Let me me get this out. Whoa, whoa. What if? What if? And take this journey with me. What if he wants to buy part of that NFL team to be the inside man and be the voice for all the brothers that Colin Kaepernick can't be? How about this? When you're talking to me about a former drug dealer who really damaged his fucking community anyway, how about he's just trying to get fucking more rich? How about that? I agree. I mean, how about that? Because really, I, I, I really have to sit here sometimes and look at the hypocrisy of former drug dealers that now hand out turkeys and go, everything is fucking okay. I mean, because in this, because I mean, how many the Pablo bo- Escobars of rap is what how, you're saying? How many boatloads of drugs have you bragged about fucking selling? And how many communities did you destroy? But now all of a sudden you're supposed to be righteous. But, but when it comes down to it, your true colors do come through. Because you're like, fuck it, I'm going to get my money. I don't care. There you go. But, I mean, to be honest with you, I'm just giving you 
perspective on it because fuck Colin Kaepernick. I can give a <laughs> fucking fuck. You think, you, know that, you, think, you, you think that motherfucker gives a fucking fuck? He's going to be rich forever even if he didn't play football and he took it in the ass because he made a settlement with the NFL that he will not disclose how much money there they fucking go. paid him. So I hope it was like $8. That would be not, fucking No, that dude, that dude doesn't have to throw another football again. Ever, dude, he couldn't throw one in the first place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, what I what I'm worrying about is why aren't we protesting something that matters? Not that his the ideals of Colin Kaepernick's protest don't matter, but why don't we protest real shit? What gets me is I was at I was in the epicenter of the fucking protest in Portland, mm-hmm. and I was like, they were so these guys. What were the Proud Boys celebrating anyway? There was something they fucking being proud. I don't know what the fuck they were celebrating something. They were just down there to have themselves a little fucking rally. Right. And hey, I give no fucking fucks. Hey, rally over whatever. You know what I'm saying? I I give no fucks. You got a permit? Fuck it. Be (laughs) there. there. Do whatever the fuck you got to do. Then Antifa says, nah, you can't do that. So (laughs) we're going to show up too. They don't have, they don't have a fucking permit. Right. And all of a sudden, we got a thousand fucking cops downtown. I think what I think they said it, it cost us about fifteen million. Oh, probably something fucking stupid with all the overtime. About, about, about because f- there was Homeland Security. There was uh, there was an F- FBI fucking little outpost down there as well. Homeland. We have a Homeland office in downtown Portland. So I don't know why they're like, well, we are Homeland Security, bitch. They're always here. We also have. An FBI office here in Portland. I've been to that FBI office for a cyber a counter cyber fucking criminal course when I worked at the bank. So we have all these fucking outfits here. This motherfucker's five oh. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. You can tell by the hair. No, but we have all these fucking outposts here. So they're they're hyping it up for absolutely no fucking reason. And the only thing, the only thing they don't have is a permit. If they had a fucking permit to protest, cops wouldn't have done shit. They don't, you don't have a, you can't get a permit to protest somebody else's event. It doesn't work like that. You can get a, I you mean, get a permit to protest anything you want. You can't get a permit to protest somebody else. That's like a Chuck E. Cheese. Like, oh yeah, I'm just buying, I'm buying a birthday party just so I can fuck up their birthday party. If you walk a in there. A permit to protest is just a permit for a gathering. You don't have to go in there and be like, and you, we're protesting the Proud Boys. And you, and you know what they'll do? They'll be like, no, we already got some shit going on there. We already booked the table right in front of the, <laughs> we already booked the table right in front of the stage. So you can't see the mechanical Chuck E. Cheese. It's not, it's, 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 you can't be that close. But see, I don't think they can do that. I don't think they can regulate you know, whether, they, 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 whether they, they, they regulate whether they grant permits or not. Yeah, they do. That's why it's called a permit. No, no, I don't think they can say, oh, well, sorry, guys, we have another event going on they, they, in that, the city of Portland. That's why they have goddamn permits, so they know the shit's going on. That is so the, they, no, that so is, they know that, it's that, going on. That is the point of having a permit. No, so, so you they can, know it's going on. But I don't no, think that, they can deny you based they, on they, it being full. They can deny you a permit. They'll come up with a bullshit reason to deny you a permit. <laughs> We gotta test this out. You come we up seriously. Come, gotta, come up with some shitty reason for no, you. Ask, and, ask your guys at Toastmasters. What if? See if one of those guys know about I, like permits. I got the goddamn internet. Those motherfuckers don't. Those motherfuckers. Don't, those motherfuckers don't march for shit. They're all. Oh, they, they're, they're, not, all they're, they're not all, political they, they're dudes. All, oh, they're all political, but they give no fucking fucks about Portland. No, they they they, they, they fucking lay, they live and they get in they chatter. They don't give a fuck a fuck. Fucking they're, lazy cunts. No, they they're hard workers. Well, there you go. Then ask them. The, then you're a lazy cunt. Ask them the fucking question. I'm just saying. Can they? Ask I, I, I want to ask. Would, I, I want to ask you to stop bewildering such a dumbass point. Yes, they can deny you a permit. No, I'm asking. Can they? De- for example, can uh, they say? No, host with no name. You cannot have a permit down here today because oh so fresh. Already has an event going on. The yes, city is they, fucking yes, they, huge. They can say that, yes, in that specific place, you cannot have a permit to gather there because there's already what, an event what going on. specific place? Portland? No, they were on the waterfront. They had a permit to be on the waterfront. Okay, so they had a. I mean, what party? I mean, do you? Do, no, you, that's do you the not, first time you said that. That's, I, I kept saying you, Portland. You don't, you don't know what the fuck? You, you don't know what happened? No, you kept saying. I kept saying Portland, and now you're telling me the waterfront. So that is, is there. You get you, that's there's a zoning permit, obviously, is what that is. Then okay, let's uh, let's explain the permit thing. Yeah. When you get a permit, you get a permit to gather in a specific place 
with your people. So the yeah, entire, yeah, the yeah, entire they, waterfront. They, they don't give you. They don't. They don't give you a permit to gather any place in Portland. Then everybody. I would just have a permit. Yeah. It'd be like a food handler's card. I would okay. just have a fucking permit. Hey, anytime I want to fucking gather. No, that's what. So, I, they, so they're in like little concentration camps where they can't go outside a certain area, right? To protest. Like, so they have the entire waterfront and that's where they have to stay. We, a permit is basically, we reserve this public space for you and your people to gather there. That is, that's what a permit does. No, I get, I get what you're saying now. So they can't leave a certain area. Yeah. It's supposed to be contained to a certain area. Ah, Okay. That makes more sense. So they could, they could put fucking Antifa up on, in the Pearl district and then leave them down on the waterfront. If they want to permit, that's probably how they would do it. Ah, okay. That makes more sense. Cause I thought you were saying like, no, Oh, so we have somebody up on Broadway. You cannot gather on the waterfront because they took over Portland. No, they got a permit. Okay. They got, a permit. They got a permit to be on the waterfront. So now that we're past the permit thing, <laughs> <laughs> which brings me to my next question. So I, I I'm looking at this whole situation and I'm thinking, all this shit's going on. 15 million in resources wasted. Hey, there's shit that I want to protest that I feel is a bigger issue than what's going on between Antifa and the Proud Boys. And hopefully CNN will give me some national coverage on this. Yeah. So for me, and we've come together and we've come together and we've come up with a list of things that five things that we would rather protest that we think would make better protests than the Antifa Proud Boys thing that went down a couple of weeks ago. Number one, a hundred percent better. Number one, I mean, these are real issues that impact real motherfuckers like you. Basically, that impact Oso because he works downtown. The homeless. <laughs> I would like to start. I would like to have a protest against the homeless. I I, I second. Is that how is that how Toastmasters go? Do you have to second something? That's not how. I, no, no, we don't. Like a community we, council meeting. We don't. We, no, do we, the gavel. We don't use parliamentary rules. No, no, oh. it's nothing like that. All right. I don't know what the I, fuck so, you're talking about. I got excited. I, that, that, that was that was closer to the description to, to that to that party at Chuck E. Cheese. That we don't do anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> just saying, just saying. <laughs> but no, I would like to protest the fucking homeless. I wish if you are a motherfucker that are tired of having homeless motherfuckers wandering around your goddamn neighborhoods and your goddamn streets. Yeah. Let's meet up at the fucking waterfront. I will get a permit and we will protest having fucking homeless here. And you know what? It'll be just as effective as those other motherfuckers that protest shit downtown. Do you have to get like, do you have to have a number of people? Like, is there a specific, like, is there a cap and is there a minimum? Like, can you have a protest with just one person? You can. Does it, does it work like that? It's called a protest. <laughs> no, I can't. no, I mean, on the permit, like, you know, do you go in there and they're like, well, do you have six people or I can't issue your, you a permit? Do we know that? Is that, I, right? I, it, it varies from city to city, my friend, and I'm not for sure how, how that works. Well, because I'm thinking about I think it, I, 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 I want to fucking protest traffic. So I know a lot of people want to, So if I show up with like a thousand people, are they going to be like, uh, sorry, the cap's 600? You know, you, you, as many people show up as want to show up, they'll be like, yo, that did get kind of out of hand. They might be, <laughs> they might re- be reluctant to give you another permit. Hey, if you are fully versed on how permits work and you are a fan of the show, then you should hit us up. 503-776-0167. We'd love to hear your feedback on it and what you want to hear, what you want to protest about. But when it comes to traffic, you know what I'm going to do to protest traffic? I'm going to find some motherfuckers to lay down in the middle of the freeway. I'm not going to lay down in the middle of the freeway can because we, I'm not that hardcore. Can we get the Californians to lay down in the middle of the freeway and just fucking run those assholes over? That's I'm, a, I'm see, protesting uh, those fuckers. See, see, that's a whole other point. That's a whole other day. See, we, we're going to... Hey, you at City Hall, we're booking up every fucking weekend. Every fucking weekend Fuck for five... Out. Monday through Friday, baby. No, no. I, I, no, I need I need as many people as pop, possible to be able That's to make true. it. So, for five fucking weekends, we are fucking protesting the shit out of everything. Now, Californians are next. Yeah. Build a wall. <laughs> build, build a southern wall. Build a God damn it. goddamn wall. You, I, you have to have a fucking... We build, have to have a fucking passport to get into Oregon. God damn it. Yeah, you can say that as I deport your ass back. Yeah. Man. <laughs> what do I, I mean, shit. Driving oh, up our gas we, we, need, we need the Oregon version of ice for Californians. Dude, and you know you know why I'm protesting Californians? Because they're raising our fucking rent prices, and I want to protest that shit, too. Number four. 
Oh no, you skipped our notes. So number three, the third thing we would like to protest, or the fourth thing we would there like to protest. There you go. I mean, you could have just left it at number four. You had it right the first time. <laughs> well, you- <laughs> These rent prices are getting into his head here because I'm right. sure his fucking mortgage payment went up. He's had a real job for months now. <laughs> That's not how mortgages work, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> rent One prices, thing about mortgages is when you get a mortgage, it stays the same. Rent I, prices are going the way of fucking San Francisco it, but I real think, quick. I think number three and number four actually go hand in hand. Rent prices in Californians. Yeah. Nobody gave a fuck about living here. They didn't. They didn't give a fuck about living here. Uh, they, they, somehow these motherfuckers figure out the weather's okay up here. Oh, I dude. mean, I, it was so much better no, when, you know when everybody thought it rained all the time. You know who I blame? Who? Joe fucking Rogan. Because he comes up this way, goes hunting all the time. He's doing comedy specials up here now. This fucking guy, he told on us. He fucking knocked us out. I don't give him that much credit. Well, I'm glad I, you I, don't. I mean, Joe Rogan, if you listen to our show, I would like to subscribe to you on YouTube, but I really don't like it when all your shit pops up in my feed and kind of clouds the <laughs> other shit that I'm trying to watch. Just saying, Joe Rogan. I mean, if you, if you listen to my show. Now, the last thing. The last thing that... We must protest. And this this seems insignificant. If you're not, you don't live here, you're out of town or you're a Californian, hopefully the ICE agent shows up quick to get your ass. But if you're a Californian or out of town or you don't understand this, they must expand the fucking max train. Now, the max train has been here for most of my lifetime and they've expanded a few different ways, but there's still points in the city you can't get to. Personally, I can only talk so much shit about Portland, because I actually don't live in Portland. I live in Vancouver. Please don't stop by my house, but I live in Vancouver. Yeah, but what if the Max came to Vancouver? You know how it'd be... And shit, we should protest the fact that they, they won't put a better bridge up here. Anyway, <laughs> we got a dilapidated bridge that was built in like 1918, and we all we want as a Vancouver... What am I, a Vancouverite? Vancouver in or whatever. Living in Vancouver, right across the river from Portland, where I work in Portland, but I still pay sales tax, and I'm only like five minutes away. That's why I don't buy shit up here. Anyway, because there's no Oregon sales tax. If you don't know, they can't pump gas because they're retards. Ooh, the R word. They are, they're slow. <laughs> they're on the spectrum. They're retards. They can't pump gas because they're on the spectrum, and also they don't have to pay sales tax. I think they're on the spectrum, and they couldn't figure that out. So, I... Would like a train to come from Portland into Vancouver so I can commute because I work in Portland. And I would love to not drive a hybrid. Yeah. yeah. I know I, I know there's some motherfuckers out there that are proud to drive fucking hybrids, but yeah. Not, not even if it's a luxury hybrid, it's still a piece of shit hybrid. Dude, and I don't get it. They would make so much fucking money if they expanded the tracks over here. That's it's not ridiculous. Public transit doesn't make money. The uh, fuck that, it wouldn't. The, Dude, are you shitting me? You know how many people uh, go on the fucking parking ride from Salmon Creek, Hazeldale, and, and downtown Portland? I will tell you that it is very rare that public transit is every prof, ever profitable. Dude. Now, I would protest to get a goddamn train for my own convenience, but don't <laughs> lie to yourself and say public transit is fucking pop, uh, profitable. I was merely giving a political fucking stance on why it's a good idea. I'm... Sub- I'm subjugating myself to this whole fucking protest angle so we can get this shit done. But it being profitable is some bullshit. There is no profit in fucking public transit. Like if it for every dollar you pay to get on the bus, I think they they have to chip in like another dollar. Dude, this motherfucker, you get him going to Toastmasters. He has to argue every fucking point I make. What is up with this Toastmasters thing? Are you on my dick because you can't be in? I don't understand. I can't be in. I I would fucking own that place. I would own it. The only reason I don't go to Toastmasters is because I don't want to get up early on a Monday. I get up early anyway. They they have them them all over the place. It's like AA. It's the same shit. (laughs) They have them all over the place, all sorts of different times. Is it really AA? Is that why you're there? You're really. If that's. (laughs) If that's if that's your excuse for not improving yourself, then I think you I think you I think you kind of what fucked do, what up. Do you mean? I mean, what are you not improving uh, myself. I mean, you should just. Uh, uh, it's I've funny. I lost twenty four pounds. It's Look funny. at how fucking far this hair's this, grown. This motherfucker flexed his chest. He did the he did the, he did the titty juggle when he said improving <laughs> myself. <laughs> now 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 I feel yeah, bad. Call up the Terry Crews. Yeah. Okay? Okay. I feel bad. I just looked at another man's chest. I think it is time for me to wrap up the episode. <laughs> Hold up. Wait. This is the Hype Podcast. I'm the host with no name. I'm DJ Oso Fresh. And we're kicking it with you every single week. And a sneak peek into your next week. I might not be here. Are you going to pass away or what's going to happen? <laughs> I might be on the road. Who knows? Oh, you never know. Yeah.
But if I am, you can hit us up, 503-776-0167, and let us know how you feel and what you want to protest about, or you can just talk to Diesel Fresh. Yeah, but... If the rent prices are getting you down, the best deals in town, <laughs> Fortress Property Management, make sure, you, make sure you give them a call, 503-752-8519, taking care of all your needs when it comes to real estate management. So if you have some real estate that your mortgage is going up, <laughs> <laughs> then you can call them and they will help you get your property rented. Hey, why don't you turn that property that you can turn that property that you own into a profit? How you like that? Do it with Fortress because they went on wonderful. And let me tell you, if you get off at work early on a Friday, I know what you want to do. You want to go hang out with what our you, man Aaron here with 1A at Fortress Fridays over at Fortress Property Management. He's going to give you all the details to get your weekend kicked off right. If you're off work, well, you act like they go do the, oh, hold on, are they having appetizers over there? They didn't tell me. <laughs> I mean, you're talking like you start. You talking real spicy, like you uh, you going you just stop by that motherfucker. You stop by the office and there's hors d'oeuvres. Are there? I mean, if there's green olives, then I know I've been fucking screwed <laughs> out of something. Pardon me, did you bring the caviar? Man, they, I mean, they, these motherfuckers over here having you know bratwurst with fucking grape poupon, and I'm sitting here doing a goddamn podcast. Hey, Aaron with an A. If there's a party going down on Friday for Fortress Fridays, which happens at noon Pacific time, if there's a party going down, you let us know. Till then, this is the Hype Podcast. I'm DJ Oh So Fresh, and I am out of here. Fuck it. We'll do it live.